The start of a new month can be a great time to recommit to your fitness goals and healthy lifestyle. Unless you're feeling a little less than motivated by your current fitness routine. My name is Catherine Basu. This is Titan and Tone Tuesday. And today I'm going to share with you three new fitness moves that you can use to spice up your current fitness routine, find your motivation again, and most importantly, you'll be able to do all these moves without needing to buy any fancy equipment or joining a gym to take part in the latest fitness craze. All right, so in the intro, I told you that these moves won't require you to purchase any fancy equipment, but what's really great about them is you don't need any equipment. All you need is your own body, which I'm sure you have handy, and a nice little space, and you'll be able to complete them no matter where your busy life has you today. These moves are from a Power Music DVD that I had the honor of checking out and reviewing. So if you are a fitness professional and want to learn more about that, you can head to the website fitarmadillo.com for some added notes. But what I'll tell you just personally before we get started that is beneficial to anyone is that these moves are great because not only are they easy to do no matter where you are, but even though there'll be an upper, lower, and core exercise I'll show you, each move targets more than just one muscle group. They're very dynamic. So I say that Power Music did a great job in sharing these moves with you and I'm excited to show you them. So let's cut the intro part and get right into the moves. Move number one is our lower body focus. It's called a bounding squat rewind. For this move, as with every move, I'll give you three levels. For level one of the bounding squat rewind, we'll jump into a squat and then use three more jumps to go back to start. So it'll look like this. Getting ready here. Jumping into our squat, really sit it back, make sure your knees don't go over your toes. So side view for you here. When you jump into it, you're really sitting back. Knees are back here in line with the ankles. Not like this, right? So really sit it back when you jump into that squat. And then once you jump into that squat, that's part one. We need to do the rewind to get back to start. So we're gonna do one, two, three jumps to get back to start. We'll do it again a little faster here. Level one, jump into your squat. One, two, three, all right? Bounding squat rewind, level one. Level two, what we're gonna do is travel the squat forward. So again, when we jump into that squat, make sure our knees are in line with our ankles and not going past the toes. And then we're gonna jog it backwards. So getting ready here, jumping into that nice wide squat and then running back with three steps. So one, two, three to bring it back. Now, I started with my right foot on that first squat, so when I go back the second time, because it's three steps, I'm going to start with my left foot. So starting up here, getting a nice jump forward. One, two, three, starting with that left leg that time. Okay, so a little bit more cardio, you can hear. I'm breathing a little bit more heavy for that level two move. And then for level three, we're going to jump into our squat forward and then use three squats to get backwards. Back to start. So again, jumping forward here into that squat, landing softly, sit it back, one, two, three, keeping that squat position, all right? So here's a side view for this one, just to give you guys an example. Jumping into my squat, landing softly, one, two, three. Really sitting it back every single time. All right, so bounding squat rewind, three levels for you to choose from, and that's going to work your lower body, but it's also a cardio move, you can tell, like I said, my heart rate's up. For move number two, I'm going to have you come down to the floor. We're going to focus on our upper body for this move, which is called the wounded crab. And I'm also going to show you three levels, but they all have a similar starting point, which is reverse tabletop position. So to get into reverse tabletop, your palms are below your shoulders. And then your feet are a little bit out from your body so that when you come up and lift your hips with your abs tight, you have your ankles and knees in line and your palms below your shoulders, like I said and you kind of look like a table. Okay, so we're gonna use that position for all moves, we'll add on to it from there. For level one for your wounded crab, you'll extend one leg, you'll stay on this side for your a given set, and then you're gonna lift up into that reverse table, hold here, abs are tight, and lower down. Lift up, abs are tight, keep that table, so don't 
Try to land here. Try to really make your abs tight and lift up and bring it down. So lifting up and bring it down. So we'll do a set on this side and then you would do another set on the other side with your leg extended, palms still below the shoulders and then lifting up, abs are tight and bring it down. That's level one for your wounded crab. For level two, we'll get into that reverse tabletop position, but then lower down and travel with our hands first and then with our foot. So it'll look like this. Extend your leg, lift up, and then we're gonna lift all the way up, down, walk, walk backwards, jump our foot back. Bring it back to the beginning, down, up, walk, walk, jump forward. Okay, that's level two, like I said. So lift, lower, walk, walk, jump your foot for the level two of the wounded crab. For level three, instead of going backwards and forwards, we're going to go side to side. So let me get over a little bit for you here. So same principle again, extending that leg here like we did in level two, and then lifting up here, up, down, walking, but not to the side, walk off with your hands, and then jump your foot over to get to this side, and then we'll bring it back. So we're going down, up, walk, walk, jump over with your foot, okay? Let me do that again for you a little faster. So extending out, down, up, walk, walk, jump. Down, up, walk, walk, jump. Challenging move, but a great one. And then the third move I have for you is a core focus move. So we'll be doing a plank, basically. So if you need help with planks, I do have a video with some tips of those just in general, but this is the move that came from Power Music. Level one will be a forearm plank on our knees. So to do this, you wanna make sure that your arms are out like this so that your forearms are parallel to each other. Okay, now this is a regular plank we're gonna do on our knees, but notice that I don't have my butt up in the air. I have a nice straight line from my shoulders down to my knees. And do not put your hands together. This places extra stress on your shoulders. So we want to have our forearms parallel to each other. Okay, that's our starting position. Then we're gonna move our legs in two positions. We're gonna do the right side first and then the left leg. Right knee is gonna to come to the same elbow. So when I do this, I do have to lift my hips up to do this, but right knee to right elbow. Bring it back into that plank. So notice my hips go back down. Not all the way down, but nice straight line from shoulders to my knees, and then I'm going to bring that same side, right knee, out to the side. So out to the side here, and then in, then do the same thing on the other side. So left side here, left knee to left elbow, bring it down into plank. So I'm not touching the floor here with that left knee, and then out to the side, and in, okay? So that is level one. Let me do one more for you here in real time. Knee to elbow, bring it in, knee to side, bring it in. Knee to elbow other side, bring it in. Knee to the side, bring it in. Level one for your Plank Express is what this one is called. For level two of your Plank Express, we'll do the same thing we did in level one, but we're going to be on our toes for support. When you do this, the proper form for a plank is to have your feet together. But if that's too challenging, you can bring your feet a little bit wider apart so that you have a a little bit of an intermediate level between that plank on your knees and your plank on your toes. So here's what it will look like. Again, starting out with our forearms parallel to each other, getting on our toes here, nice straight line from shoulders to toes, trying to keep my feet together if I need to, a little bit wider, all right? And then we're going to bring same knee to same elbow under the body, okay? So my hips are lifted a little bit for that. Bring it back to that regular plank. I'm not touching the floor yet. And then bringing this knee out to the side and in. Same thing other side, same knee to same elbow. Hips have to lift for that, but bring them back down and then knee to the side. All right, so that's a good move for you there. For level three, we're going to do what we just did, but when we go out to the side, our legs are going to be straight. Ideally, it will be perpendicular to your body. My hips are a little tight, so it's not gonna look like that for me. And we'll add a third lift, which is going to be straight up when we get back after going out to the side. Okay, so here what we're going to do is the same thing to start. Same knee, right knee to right elbow. Hips have to lift a little bit for that. 
Bring your right leg back, don't lift your hips, but then bring your leg out to the side. If you can go further than I am, do that. And then we're going to lift this leg up. Lift up and down, perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to move over a little bit because my video won't let you see it if I don't do that. So here we go. Same thing, other side. Same knee to same elbow. Bring it in, out to the side, as high up as you can go. Bring it in and then lift up and back down. Whew. So there you have it. Three awesome new no equipment workout moves you can add to your current fitness routine to spice things up, to help you stay motivated, to stick to your fitness goals this month and beyond. I hope you enjoyed watching me sweat through them, but now it is time for you to take action now. Leave me a comment below this video letting me know which of these moves you are going to add to your workout routine this week. We had the bounding squat rewind to work your lower body, the wounded crab to work your upper body, and the plank express to work your core, your abs, and your back, giving you some good strength. So pick one or more to try out and let us know what they are and how it goes. Now, even if you love these moves and they help you spice up your fitness routine, I know that they're just three moves and you might get bored of them as well. So don't forget that here at Fit Armadillo, I have an awesome team of certified personal trainers that can work with you one-on-one, -on -one, live over video chat. So if you're having trouble holding yourself accountable or want more awesome ideas that you can do from the comfort of your living room, hotel room, or wherever your busy life takes you, head on over to fitarmadillo.com and click on that nice sign up button so you can get started and I can match you with an amazing trainer who can help you reach your goals without you needing to join a gym. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. Awesome workouts to have the honor of matching you with the personal trainer from Fit Armadillo and to see you soon. Bye guys. I really don't know where to look on this thing.